Hello, welcome to Point of View 89. Today, I'd like to talk about Bo C. Lai, the enigmatic Bo C. Lai who got the world on a string and was sitting on a rainbow of colors. Kindly subscribe to this channel and encourage us dot to show more of the videos you like by clicking the subscribe now button dot is indicated by the arrow. The Art of War by Sun Tzu is the most influential treatise on war ever written. It is devoted to warfare. It has shaped the way in which conflicts has been fought for thousands of years all over the world. It has also resounding effects on politics, sports, and business to this day. Here are the essential for victory quotations. Bo Si Lai was born with a pedigree. His father, Bo Yi Bo, was a war hero who was at Mao Zedong's side during the revolution. He studied with other children at the elite Beijing No. 4 High School, China's best. During Mao's Cultural Revolution in 1966, at the age of 17, Mr. Bo seems to embrace the purges, forming with the other elite children a radical Red Guard faction later condemned by the Chinese authority for its brutality. Historians say that Mr. Bo's faction actually opposed violence and tried to defend its members' elite parents against Mao's excessor. Mao's forces quickly turned on them and in early 1967, Bo Lai was shipped to a Beijing labor camp for five years. After Mao's death, Bo Yibo and Bo Si Lai emerged stronger than ever. The rehabilitated Bo Yibo became Vice Premier in 1979 under his wartime friend Deng Xiaoping. Today, Bo Si Lai sits in prison, but a few years ago, he governed a city the size of Austria and with more people than Australia. Bo Si Lai's success in Chongqing governance model made him a celebrity politician in China. As this song goes, he got the girl on the string sitting on a rainbow and he had it all. Bo Si Lai was aiming for the pinnacle of Chinese political power, a seat on the nine-member Politburo's Standing Committee. He was a fixation for the news media and foreign leaders, the current enthusiast who has been breaking the style of Chinese leadership. Bo married his second wife, Gu Kai Lai, in 1986. Gu was a prominent lawyer and founder of the Kai Lai Law Firm in Beijing. In 1992, 10 years after taking his first desk job at Communist Party headquarters in Beijing, Mr. Bo was named mayor of Talian, the city of about 6 million people on the North Pacific coast. At the 17th National Congress in October 2007, Bo Lai gained a seat on the 25-member Politburo, effectively China's ruling council. He left the Ministry of Commerce and took over as CCP Committee Secretary of Chongqing.
In Chongqing, Bo Xilai pioneered a new style of governance called the Chongqing Model, a set of social and economic policies intended to address diverse challenges facing modern China following economic reforms. Sun Tzu, the author of The Art of War, says, Treat your men as you would your own beloved son, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. But Bo Lai's undisputed talents were offset by what friends and critics alike say was his unlimited ambition and indifference to the wrecked lives that littered along his path to power. Bo Lai's ruthlessness stood out, even in a system where the absence of formal rules ensure that only the strongest advance. Wang Li Jun, Chongqing's police chief, fell out with Bo Lai, fled to American embassy begging for protection and setting off the events that produced Bo Lai's downfall. His wife, Gu Kai Lai, long known for her own zealous ambition, stands accused by the party investigator of murdering a British family friend, Neil Hayward, in a dispute over money. Bo Lai Paul fascinated the world. He was suspended from the Politburo under investigation for serious violations of Communist Party rules and been held incommunicado at an unknown location. In 2013, Bo Lai was found guilty of corruption, stripped of all his assets and sentenced to life imprisonment. He is now incarcerated at Qingzhen Prison. On a positive note, people in this Tongqing metropolis of 30 million people remember Bo Lai fondly as a Kandu leader who improved law and order, turbocharged the economy and rejuvenated the old city. On the negative note, Bo Lai should have studied the art of war that could have prevented his political downfall. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. We have regular videos. Click the subscribe now button for notification of any new videos. See you soon and have a good day.